One thing I kind of wanted to touch base with you on is the culture of the the Giants right now. You know, I'm watching like the week one game against the Titans. You know, Brian Dayball goes for that like two point conversion. You guys win the game on that. And, and you know, you and like Sterling Shepard, you know, guys that have been with the Giants for a long time. You're like all up on Brian Dayball, like, you know, getting gassed up about it. Like what has Brian and this whole kind of organizational shift brought to the team, man? Just a standard. Um, and that, that's what you need when you want to change the culture. And that's really what it comes down to winning football games. It's all about the cultures. And uh, it started with the coaches and then it goes down to the players. And we got to hold that standard and every single day come in with that leadership um, and that mindset. And uh, something that we, you know, we have a, a really good group of guys. We're very competitive. We're a competitive bunch. We're never going to lose games off of not coming out there and fighting to the last to the last whistle. Um, and that's a mindset that we don't have. And right now, like I said, you know, two and one, obviously, we're not excited with the way uh, last night went, but it may not be the sexy way. It may not be the, <laughs> the fancy way. We may not be putting up 40 points, but the two wins that we did get, you got to find a way and grind. Uh, the thing that I'm most proud about this team is the, no panic, even even last night, you know, to that last play, to, to the pick, um, to they took the knee. Uh, we really believe that we're going to come back and win that game. When we looked up and it's 23 16, and it was a minute 40, a minute 45 seconds on the clock. Uh, we really believe we're going to go down and find a way to to win the game. And that's just the mindset that we got to continue to have that competitive stamina and continue to believe in each other. Saquon, you're here on behalf of Courtyard by Marriott. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on there, man. Yeah, I'm here on behalf of Courtyard Marriott, the official hotel of the NFL. And, you know, they're coming out with a new uh, all season long thing for fans where fans can really tap into the fandom and give them some unique cool experience uh this is where we fan is actually what's called and um you know we have a fans given where fans can come on the 50-yard line at MetLife Stadium have a dinner with me uh and you know get to see MetLife Stadium get all the cool experience there the backstages and all that and the way they can do that is by posting a video on Instagram Twitter TikTok uh and tagging hashtag courtyard fan content I'm excited I'm excited to to work with courtyard um, I'm all about giving back and, you know, have an opportunity to uh, give back to fans and uh, spend time with fans. And I think it's a, a cool, unique experience. Yeah, man, that's sick. I love, I, I'm big into fan engagement too, man, because it's like the smallest interaction can go so far for somebody's life, right? As far as putting them on, maybe they gain some new motivation or maybe they gain a new respect for you and that's helping you grow your brand and your reputation. Because as I, I've said this before, but our legacy lives within our fans. Right. Like what people yeah. think of Saquon is what people like. That's that's where your legacy is, you know. And so it's like mm -hmm. that's why it's so important to give back. That's why it's so important to have some type of engagement, because if you don't have anything, then now you're leaving it up to other people's judgment. You're not you're not steering. You can't necessarily steer it like it's a car. It's more like a it's more like a boat, like a big boat where right? where you can steer yeah. it. And it takes time for that thing to turn. But you got to keep putting effort into it to get that thing to turn. So, man, go go get yourself some dinner with Saquon. That's what's up. <laughs>